Hey guys, hey, it's Pretty Girl Theo coming to you from once again, my bedroom. Um, I just wanted to come to you and let you know how my one month, it's been one month anniversary guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's been one month since I chopped all my hair off. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of people seen it, I've had a lot of mixed feelings about it. And yeah, so let's just get into that. I don't want to make it long, long, long. Um, let's see. My mom saw it. <laughs> this is how I did it. I went into her bedroom and I was staring at her. She's like, what's wrong? And I had a hood on. No, I had a scarf on. And I said, put your hand on my scarf. She touched it. She's like, you're kidding me. She's like, turn on the light. I turned on the light. She's like, Dana, did you really cut your hair? And I'm like, hello. Like, <laughs> I cut it. Duh. <laughs> Um, my dad, he just looked at me. My dad is not like short hair, he just looked at me. And I'm just like, I'm grown, dad. It's like, no, nah, I didn't say that. My dad would have popped me in my mouth. <laughs> Being 20 years old, he would have still popped me right in my mouth. But, um, my boyfriend, he just kept staring at me too. It took him some time to get used to it, but he likes it. He calls me a little boy. Like, at first, like, I was just like, yo, you gotta chill with that. Like, it's not funny. But now, I crack jokes on myself all the time. Like, literally, we'll be at church, and they'll be like, can all the fellas stand up? And I'll stand up, and all the girls will be cracking up, dying. I'm like, I am a fella now, aren't I? <laughs> um, how did it go for me? Like I just said, yeah. Beginning was hard. Like, I literally would wake up in the morning and touch my head and be like, oh, shoot. It's not a dream. And it was, I like, the feeling was for a while. I'm like, when am I going to wake up and be used to this? Like, it took me some time. Like, I'd walk past mirrors and I'm like, is that really me? Still, to this day, I look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I'm just like, because there's a lot of, like, getting used to it. Like, like, there's outfits that I used to love. Like, I put them on. Like, I still love them. It's just, it's a different look with it because... There's no hair to lay down. Excuse me, on like, you know, some of the clothing and stuff like that. And sometimes I look at some clothes that I have on and I'm just like, I honestly think this would look better with like this kind of hairstyle. But I always was like that. I always would put outfits on. I'm like, yo, like if I had a puffy afro right now, my hair, like this would do the fit. Or if I had like some silky straight weave with the middle part, it would look better. So, I mean, I always did that. So it was nothing new. But overall, after exactly a month, I love it. Like, it's like fresh. Like, every time people see me, like, they're always like, I love it. They're like, you have the face for it. And <sighs> I'm sorry, I've been out all day. But yeah, I enjoy it. It's, um, it's growing like a lot. I mean, these edges don't look like they want to go nowhere kind of bothering me but I mean it's growing oh my plans I want to talk about that too my plans because remember when I said in my other video if you didn't catch it I'm gonna put a little um what do they call it <laughs> I put something up here <laughs> I don't know what is it called but the little thing it probably just came up y'all see it now okay um yeah if you didn't see my other video, I had said that I had no idea what I was doing when I cut my hair. I'm just tired of my hair. Like, I honestly don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't know if I'm gonna just leave it short for a while. I don't know. Like, I know definitely in two weeks, I'm gonna go to the barber and he's gonna cut it again so it could be all leveled out how it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to look. But yeah, um, after that, after two weeks when I get it cut again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting it cut to just leave it low or am I gonna let it go out so I honestly just cut it because I felt like I had nice hair it curled up when it was wet and had conditioner but once I tried to style it it would be dry and just poofy and just not what I wanted it to be so I just cut all my hair off not knowing what I wanted to do next but I kind of know what I want to do next so my birthday is in November. So my birthday, I was like, do I wanna rock my short hair 
or do I want to try to get a weave? So I believe it's my 21st birthday. So I think I want to get a sewing, get like a short bob or something, you know, mad sophisticated, but you know, still like sexy or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, I think that's what I want to do. So, if I want to do that, I can't keep cutting my hair. Like, I can't. Like, I definitely need to shape up. Like, before school starts, I'm going to get it fixed up by the side. Because people told me the back of my head is, like, kind of wound. So, I'm going to get that fixed up. But I'm not taking anything off the top. Because if I want to get a sew-in, like, this is what grew in a month. Like, I don't. I don't. What are we in? August? It's like the 21st day, right? I believe so. So August, September, October, November. So I have three months. I don't know how much more hair I can go in three months. Let's pray to God enough for somebody to snatch a braid in my head so I can sew some weaving because that's what I really want for my birthday. But I mean, if it doesn't happen, like if I can't, maybe for my birthday I'll just put some color or cut it shorter again. I, I just don't know. But let's have our... <laughs> Let's have our fingers crossed that by Thanksgiving Day, yes, my birthday's on Thanksgiving, that I'll have a bum weave in my head and I'll be just be lit. Um, another thing I wanted to go into is some of the products that I'm into right now. Not even really products. Well, my number one thing, like my always go to, is literally my Eco Styler gel. Oh, camera on the wrong side. My Eco Styler gel. This one is the Black Castro and Flaxseed. Wait, black castor and flaxseed oil. It contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. And it has a 10 max hole, max shine. I love this, guys. Like, literally, like, if somebody tells me I have five minutes to get ready. Oh, my other favorite thing is water. <laughs> water, me and my hair, water, like, water, 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 water. Like water, water is my number one friend, honestly. Because if somebody tells me, let's just go, like I really have to go, like I would just take a spray bottle of water. If I can get my hands on this, I'm taking this next. Like that'd be my next to go to. But if you tell me, like, you have to go right now, like I'm just gonna take a spray bottle of water, and my hair will actually curl up and look really good. So I can put water in my hair and it'll just curl up actually really nice. But if I want to give it like an extra, like, bouncy curl, that's when I run to my baby. And this actually like gives it a wonderful curl. My next favorite thing is my wow, sorry babe. Sorry babe. My wide tooth comb. Like this is another wonder. Like like when I was doing research for like I keep saying like a lot. How many times did I say like? Is somebody counting? Because if they are like Write down in the description box how many times I said like, and I said it while I was describing that. But why tooth comb is wonders because when I was doing research on you know how to maintain natural um, TWA, they say just make sure you comb your hair out every night. Which when your hair is under weaves, you're supposed to comb your hair every day, but when it's under weaves, we don't comb it, and that's why you get so much breakage. But I comb my hair every night, and this is literally like a easy breeze, easy breezy, beautiful couple girl, and I throw my scarf on, and I am done. My next and last favorite one is my rat tail comb. Like, you see I got my part going today? Because it's rat tail comb. When I had first went to the barber to get my hair cut, that one time that I went, I, um... I was wondering, I was like, should I get a part? Should I not get a part? But when I went that first time, I was like, let me just keep it simple and short. And then I like did a part with the comb myself. And I was like, why do I need to make them cut a part in my head where it's literally gonna separate hair when I could just do it with the comb? I mean, it looks more neater when you get to know my barber, but this kind of does the same thing to me, so, for me, so. Um, like I said, I didn't wanna make this long winded, but I love it guys like I love it I'm growing with it like it's gonna grow so I'm gonna have different stages of it so so I honestly love it love it love it and like I was saying I'll grow with it it'll grow with me I just can't wait to I think like after 
Christmas. Like once, if I can get that weave in my head, once I take that out, that's what I'm gonna start like playing around, putting colors, styling it up, jazzing it up, and doing stuff like that. Like that's what I think that's initially what I want to do, but I couldn't do it because I'm trying to get a weave in my head. So after that, we'll start jazzing it up, styling it, and then after that, we'll probably just let it grow out. So maybe like the whole year 2018, I'll just be messing with my head maybe 2019 i'll let it grow up but we'll see because it can change and we all know that but i'm gonna cut it off here um hopefully i've encouraged someone if you wanted to get to do a haircut to cut your hair and if you have tag me in your picture or you know write in the description box down below that you know you did it because it took me a long time and there was a lot of people on YouTube that encouraged me to do it. So I hope that I encouraged somebody to do the big chop, like the huge chop. But um, that's it for now, guys. If you didn't catch my last video, watch it. It will save your skin as my friend Thaya says. This is the beauty blender. As you can see, it's supposed to be pink. I want to say this is my one that I actually got from Real Technique because I have some fake ones. Like this one is a fake one. It's not from Real Technique. Technique. But yeah, I'm going to get this one out because it's starting to have holes in it. So you might not even watch this one. It's thrown in the trash. But my Real Technique one is still good. Anyway. <sighs> I'm going to do magic trick ready. So y'all see this? This is how this looks, right? I'm about to do the magic trick real quick, ready? And the magic trick is completed. Literally, it will. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Ciao. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a hop in the ride.